Hey y'all, I'm Shelby at the Agnes Robinson Waterloo Public Library in Waterloo, Nebraska, and welcome to another edition of our Book Talks for Adults. Today is February 2nd, and there are already so many amazing books that have been published this month. Today I'm going to tell you about five of them, but we might have to do another book talk in a couple weeks um, just to cover the amazing things that will be published then. So I hope you enjoy these five brand new titles that you can read here at our library or order from your local bookstore and let's go ahead and jump in. My first pick is How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House by Sherry Jones. Set on the Caribbean island of Barbados, which is where Rihanna is from, this debut novel is about four characters desperate to escape the legacy of violence in a so-called paradise. In Lala's community, wealthy expats clash with the locals who serve them by braiding their hair, minding their children, and selling them drugs. Lala lives with her husband, a petty criminal whose botched burglary sets off a chain of events that have terrible consequences. If you like books about interconnected characters across race and class, you might like How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House, and this book would also be a great pick for the 2021 Reading Challenges, read a debut novel published in 2021, and read a book set in a country different from your own. So this kind of gives me the same vibes as My Sister the Serial Killer, if you read that one. I have it behind me, let me find it. If you like this book, you might like How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House by Sherry Jones. Now we are traveling to California and the United States with David Duchovny's Truly Like Lightning. For the past 20 years, former Hollywood stuntman Bronson Powers has homesteaded in the uninhabited desert outside of Joshua Tree with his three wives and ten children, raising his family away from the corruption and evil of the modern world. Their difficult yet Edenic lifestyle is disrupted when a young developer named Maya stumbles upon their land and hopes to make a profit. She does this by threatening to report the family to social services and convinces them to enroll their children in a nearby public school. So now the family is confronted with the complications of the 21st century, which sets in motion a deadly chain of events. That sounds very gripping to me. This book kind of reminds me of the memoir Educated by Tara Westover, although this one here is a novel. So if you enjoy books about the American West, religious extremism, if you consume a lot of podcasts or documentaries about cults, environmental issues, you might like Truly Like Lightning by David Duchovny. My next recommendation would work for the 2021 reading challenge prompt of reading a book by a Native American or Indigenous author. It is The Removed by Brandon Hobson. So in The Removed, we're steeped in Cherokee myths and history as the Ichota family reckons with the tragic death of their son Ray Ray 15 years ago. Each family member is grieving privately while also dealing with struggles like early onset Alzheimer's, drugs, and caretaking. The family's annual bonfire is coming up, which is also a community holiday for those on the reservation, and it serves as a rare moment when the family openly talks about Ray Ray's death. But as the bonfire approaches, each of them feels a strange blurring between the boundary of normal life and the spirit world. So this book draws on Cherokee folklore and blends genres to meditate on trauma, grief, and the power of stories. That is The Removed by Brandon Hobson. Up next is Send For Me by Lauren Fox. If you like historical fiction and especially World War II novels, you might like this novel that bounces between Germany and present day Wisconsin. Annalise works in her parents' bakery in Germany while anti-Jewish sentiment is on the rise, but she can't believe that anything will happen to them. I mean, they're hardly religious after all. But when a brick is thrown through her window, friends cut ties, and customers refuse to patron the bakery, Annalise and her young family are lucky to have the chance to escape Europe and leave for America. But she must leave her parents behind in Germany. Two generations later, Annalise's granddaughter, Claire, discovers her grandmother's letters from Germany, and suddenly all of her obligations change. So I recommend this book if you enjoyed The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna or Orphan Train by Christina Baker Klein. That's Send For Me by Lauren Fox. My last recommendation is The Kindest Lie by Nancy Johnson. The year is 2008. 
and in Chicago, Ruth Tuttle is an Ivy League-educated black engineer married to a kind and successful man. He's eager to have a baby, but she is not so sure. She's not over the baby that she gave birth to as a teenager and left behind for adoption. Ruth returns home, which is an Indiana factory town, and it's plagued by unemployment, racism, and despair. She unexpectedly befriends a young white boy named Midnight, who's also adrift and looking for some connection. Just as Ruth is about to uncover a burning family secret, a traumatic incident strains the town's already searing racial tensions, upending Ruth and Midnight's lives. This book kind of reminds me of An American Marriage by Tayari Jones and the way that a modern black family continues to face systemic racism as they try to achieve the American dream. This book would also work for the 2021 Reading Challenge prompt of Read a Debut Novel, published in 2021. I hope you like The Kindest Lie by Nancy Johnson. Those are my five recommendations for the beginning of February. Again, I might have to give you a few more later this month because there are so many good books being published. I guess that's one positive coming out of the pandemic is that we have so much to read and can hardly keep up. So if you want to place a hold on any of these titles, call us at 402-779-4171. We also have lots of new books by all of your favorite authors like Kristen Hanna and Jonathan Kellerman, and you can take a look at those on our catalog or by stopping in during our open hours. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy whatever you're reading this month. Bye.